Hello again and welcome to Super Mario World, the exclusive video game for the Super Nintendo, as well as the sequel to the original Mario games, Super Mario Bros. 1 to 3. So let's see what this is about. And also I do hope some of you have a good 4th of July. I sure... Uh, yeah, I know I did, what I'm trying to say. I almost stuttered a little bit. So this is the fourth in the entry of the Mario franchise, but it's much more bigger and better. So let's get into what we got in store for us without wasting any time. But before we do, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. So with that said, let's begin. Welcome, this is Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, we find that Princess Totsu is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. No doubt about it. And we have ourselves three different apples in different look over there. I really cannot speak today again. But already we have our world hub. I should have just said that in my last video. So let's go inside what Yoshi's house is. It's just a tree, and we got ourselves three different, four different birds, excuse me. And this box thing is actually a microphone, give you advice of what they say. Hello, sorry I'm not home, but I'm half gone to rescue my friends who were captured by Bowser, Yoshi. I wonder who that guy is, as if I really know. So let's move on to the first level on our left, Yoshi's Island. So right off the bat, this is exactly the same, just different. Gotta watch myself. Also we have a new feature thing, the spin jump. This can give you extra damage on your enemy if you wanted to. Not to mention it helps you get through the area, like in this part. Hold up. There we go. Right here, just drill a box out of there so you can get to the pipes. Also, you'll find these coins that can give you an extra life if you collect all five of them. Pretty simple. Got my of their safe point. We got another thing. Point of advice: you can hold an item in the box at the top of the screen. To use it, press the select button. Of course, I did it, and you get it back. And we got ourselves the empty yellow box right here. We'll get to that real soon. And I already messed up. Thanks to this bonsai bullet. I think that's what it's called. To pick up a shell, use the X or Y button to throw it at a shell upon. Look up and let go of the button. Simple enough, just grab it up, look up, and you get a life. Let's just pick it up as much as we can. There we go. And we got a fl flower power, so that's nice as well. It makes it return. Dodge that. And we got all five coins, so I got another life. And we already made it to the finish line, raising up. And just like in the previous game, depending on how much point you get. Let me show you. Let me just take care of this guy. There we go. So, when you touch the white thing on that, you get a point, and as you can see, I got 26 points. So that's going to add it up to my thing over there, up there. But enough said, let's go up to the next destination, which happens to be 
the Yellow Switch Palace. Actually, let me just... Well, I'll just do it later. Let's just go find that switch and see if we can turn it on or something. Pretty simple. And I already got nine lives, so that's good. And there it is. So you're going to see a lot of these around the world lately. Lately. Switch Palace, the power of the switch you have pushed will turn all the empty blocks into full blocks. Your progress will also be saved. Simple as that. And all the blocks is scattered around the world. Now, actually I'm just going to see what the entire world looks like. If this is how to press it. There we go. And this is the entire hub of the worlds and level. There's four. One of the castles. And there's that other castle from the original game. And we have ourselves the spooky woods. And this thing. An empty area over there. So let's continue on with the next world level, whatever. I really cannot speak today. Alright, let's pick this up. Nice. And let's see what's in this block. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me. My name is Yoshi. On my way to rescue my friends. Bowser trapped me in that egg. Well, this is Yoshi, a new character. You can just ride on him. Pretty sim simple. To do a spin jump, press the A button. A, a Super Mario spin jump can break some of the blocks and defeat some of the enemies. Tough, tough enemies. I got it backwards. Also, there are these apples around. You can pick them up. You can eat them if you want, if you have the Yoshi. Hmm, I can't remember what they do. Well, that was a close one. I gotta hit this guy five times, three times, excuse me, before he's down. There we go. This gate marks the middle of the area. By cutting the tape here, you can continue close to this point. Safe point, that's what I was trying to get. Same. Right. I got an extra life again. And we got ourselves these mole things. I believe they're called Monty Moles. I keep getting that wrong. Let me just get off for a moment and see what's up there. Okay, we got ourselves a fourth coin. I believe they're Yoshi coins. And the last one, thank you. And what do you know, I got myself a secret world. Let's just pick this up and throw it on top of these things. Okay. Or I can just jump on Yoshi and get a higher grip. Like that. Pretty simple. Eating up all the moles that's trying to get out. And we got this on, so let's get a higher rate. Nice, 30 points. Oh, 
on to the next world. Level, why do I keep getting that wrong? Let's see. The big coins are dragon coins. If you pick up five of these, yeah. Actually, I just don't want to... It's just going to explain to me some of the things that I keep explaining some of the tutorials. So there's no point trying to say something. Let's see what's down here. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to fall off if I do get over there. And every time I eat a Koopa, based on the colors of their shell, they turn... I just spit them out, they have fire. Let me go back. Maybe I missed something. Or not, I just got there. There we go. Made it. So, basically the story is that I'm... Going on the vacation again. When you stop on an enemy, you can jump high if you hold the jump button. Use it up to the collection pad and all that. Whatever. I don't feel like reading the rest. Alright, so anyway. The story revolves me, my brother Luigi, and the princess going on a vacation. And from some reason, Toad from the previous game doesn't seem to be around. I guess he doesn't want to attend this vacation with the others. Oh well. Hmm. It's over here, okay. I always thought that this was in a different location back. But I guess not. So as we went to the vacation, Bowser decided to kidnap the princess again. One of those Mario tropes. So, we're here again, rescuing her, yet again. I don't know how much Bowser's gonna keep res kidnapping the princess. We're almost there to the main castle of the Koopalings, I'm guessing. I don't know why I got that. It's just gonna be the same. Maybe just go back here and come back this way. And we got ourselves the pokey again. Just a little trick if you want to go faster, just get as close as you can. If you are in an area that is have already cleared, you can return to the map screen by pressing the select button. Simple enough. This is a little trick. If you get close to a pokey, it goes faster. That way you don't have to get injured or waste any time or whatever. Just be extremely careful. There we go. jump up to another simple way to get up there. I always thought those spike things were actually one of the enemies from those bloated... I forgot what it was called, but whatever. You get bonus stars if you cut the tape at the end of the, each area. If you collect 10, 100 bonus, you can catch, you can play a game, bonus game. I don't know, I really cannot speak today. <laughs> Alright, let's... Oh, and already I've made a point up to 100, so there's a bonus game for me. We're going to have to match up all the cards with the mushroom. It doesn't even matter if it's the match. If you get all of it, different one correctly, 
Like that, I got flower power. I messed up. Then you get more lives. Simple. Oh well, I already got more. At least 20. So now we made it to the... Boss's castle. Iggy's castle. So let's take care of one of the bosses. Of the Koopalings. And we made it here. Big place, but not that big. Let's see. Press up on the control pad while jumping and you can climb to the fence. To get in the draw door at the end of the area, use up also. Simple enough. I could just punch one of the Koopas in the other side. Like that. That makes it more enjoyable to watch them defeat it. And let me get some coins. Knock them into the lava pit. And that's cool. It go helped you go on the other side, so you won't get hurt. Not quick enough. You dead. One of Yoshi's friend is trapped in the castle by Iggy Koopa. To defeat him, push him into the lava pool. Simple enough. And you need to watch out because there are some of these things. I remember those. I didn't know Mario can do that. Look up. I remember these things used to be scary when I was young. When I was young. Almost there. So we made it to the final place. You'll find these giant red doors. And you have to enter it because it behind it is the boss for each of them. And there's Yuki. So since we have our flower power, let's just shoot our flower into it. And we're done. Simple. We took in care of Iggy Koopa. So let's get the rest of them. And we got ourselves a little cutscene. Thank you. Maru has defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in Castle One and rescued Yoshi's friend, who is still trapped in an egg. Together, they are now traveling to Donut Land. Is it just me or is they're planning to make names based off of food? Whatever, because we already took in care of one of the Koopalings. And now we're going to move on to the next world. I'm not sure this is going to be a long video, but we're going to try our best to get through it real quick. Up to 30 minutes or so. Also, one of the worlds has a different color pattern, so it even shows that you have a new world to explore if you want to, depending on which location you go. I almost choked at that. And one of these Koopas have a special power, if I can get to it. Without killing them, stopping them too much. There it is. So this is a feather. And just like in um, Super Mario 3, you can fly. But instead of a raccoon suit, the feather gives you a cape. Which makes me a Super Mario. Literally, because of the cape. Superhero. 
Let's see what's over here. A bonus world. If you get all three circles, you get an extra life. Simple. But I don't think it's worth it. It's not that important, actually. I already got one right. At least. So, let's see what's in this part. There's that feather again. Use Mario Cape to solve through the air. Run fast, jump, and hold Y button to keep balance using left and right on the control pad. So if this thing, you can run as fast as you can. And fortunately I can't use Yoshi because he's just gonna get in my way, so I'm gonna have to leave him here. Leave him here. So I have to jump up like that. And similar to the raccoon suit, the tanuki. I can just glide up real nice. All the way to that area. And I messed up, so let's start over. There we go. Oh, it's already done. So let's go down. Too bad I'm gonna have to sacrifice Yoshi. Oh well. It's for the best. Oh, actually he's right there. That's nice. I'm gonna watch out for these plants, as well as these baseball throwing Koopas. What we got here, the red dots area on the map has two different exits. If you have the time and skills, be sure to look for them. Okay, so like I said, there's two different worlds, depending on which direction you go. And one of them is right there. So we'll come back for it later. And basically I'm just gonna have to cut off this part when I have a chance on my next video. We got ourselves the cave area. So, and of course, one of them is a moving section. I really hate those. I really do not like this part of the This type of level, I'm trying to say. Gotta hurry up before I get crushed by this thing. there or not no oh, okay too bad you know what I'm just gonna sacrifice Yoshi apparently I can't get through because Yoshi's gone Oh, that, that's fine. Let's just move on. Let's see. I'm just dodging these guys. And there's a blue shell, because without Yoshi, I can use it to fly up. Yoshi can break, can grow wings, I'm trying to say. Break. That's fine, we'll just come back for it later. Because we already made it to the finish line. So we made it to the first ghost house. You'll find most of these area ghost housed in around the world. It's pretty spooky. Well, that's fine. I can get through this. This is a ghost house. Can you find the exit? He he he, don't get lost. Pretty simple. Got ourselves more boos here and there. Try to avoid touching them. Let's see. And 
there's one of the invisible doors. Yeah, we got over there for nothing. Let me see what's up. Nothing. Yeah, this has to be a way. Oh, there is. Nice. And we found our f exit. It seems pretty hard at first, but if you look real carefully, take your time, you make it out. Simple. So we're almost close to the second boss, and there's a spot over there, I don't know. A secret world. But that's alright, let's just continue on. Into wherever it takes us. You can slide the screen left or right by pressing the L or R button on top of the controller. You may be able to see further ahead. Let's try this. Oh, that's nice. I keep forgetting these things. Alright, so there's a on button, so you're gonna have to turn it off to disconnect this thing. But you have to do it in the right moment too. Reconnect it because if you don't, you get taken into that direction that may hurt you. Got ourselves these fuzzies. These weird looking annoying things. I don't know if they're actually bugs or something. Let's just go down here. And we got ourselves another bonus world. I messed up in that. And that too. You know what, I'm mad. I don't need this. Alright, there you are. Gotta watch out for that last one. That always gets me. Oh, apparently that... One of the coins is back there. Let me see if I can go back and get it. Apparently not. No, that's fine. I'll just finish off with 21 points. And we got another bonus game. This time I got two matches right. The last level on this part. And you need to be watch out for the yellow shell Koopas because they're, they'll chase you around. Mm -hmm. Ah, you mess me up. That's fine, I found another secret world. Oh, this is the same one, okay. Never mind. We got ourselves the Coop Bugoombas back. Looks different from the last games. Let me switch back to my super cape. Hmm. This is gonna be difficult. No, it's not. I mean, with Yoshi, this would be easy. But not as easy as getting through this part. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's Yoshi. Nice. Now we got ourselves the item blocks. So you knock these out depending what it, you get. It stays with you. But if you have Yoshi, it's very pretty simple. So let's get the feather. Best I can. Careful not to... Well, I'm stuck with that. Let's try this again. There we go. And one of the enemies is flying. Is parachuting, not flying. Let's just dodge them without getting, drawing any attention or something. There we go. Time's almost running out. But we made it. Right on time. So now we made it to the second castle. Morton's castle. Wrong button. So let's just finish this off and end the video from there. Same cutscene as before, but with my cape. And we got ourselves the mini Throp. Throp. I keep pronouncing them wrong. Uh, there we go. And they have a redesign, I can see. Got up, got up some of the dry bones as well. Let's just climb up and take care of Norton. I'm just going to ignore some of these blocks. Pretty simple. Got ourselves the trampoline. Let's move it here and get this. And take our time. Up, up, in the way. Almost there. This one. Let's try this again. All right, come on. I can do this. Made it. And let's go into this red door again, while we face Morton himself. Let me see what his attack is. He goes up in the ceiling and drops down on you. Pretty simple, just hit him in the head three times and he's done. Let's see if we can do this over there. And we're done. Pretty simple. He is no more. And we got ourselves another Yoshi egg. Yoshi's friends. And it looks like Maro's destroying the castle by stomping on it. Morton Koopa Jr. of Castle 2 is now just as memory. The next area is the underground 
Vanilla Doom. What trap awaits Mara in this new world? We will become of Princess Toadstu. I got that backwards again. But at least we're already taken care of two worlds, almost. So we're going to have to save this and call it quits for today. So thank you for watching this. And if there's anything that you like, once again, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll try better next time on my speech and whatnot. So until then, I will see you again in the next video.